everybody. I'm Mushroom Matt, and today we're going to be talking about Arbor Day. So Arbor Day is all about the trees and about planting trees. And here on the Gozi Plantation, we've planted about 9 million of our favorite species, or the most important species to the longleaf pine ecosystem, of course, the longleaf pine. But today we're going to be talking about a different set of trees. We're going to be talking about oak trees. Um, and we're going to be going through a number of the characteristics that our local and native oak trees have so you can be able to tell the difference out there in your own backyards. Do you know the name of this oak tree? This is a laurel oak. Um, frequently, oaks will have large, lobed leaves, but the laurel oak actually has very small, um, sort of ovular and very waxy leaves. Um, another way that you can tell oak trees, of course, rather than producing uh, pine cones like the pine trees do, they reproduce using acorns, and the acorns of a laurel oak frequently will be growing in pairs um, along the branches. Laurel oaks and all oaks are deciduous trees. They're not like evergreens. Deciduous trees uh, drop their leaves seasonally. Um, when nutrients are less available, they turn brown and fall off of the trees, unlike the evergreens. Um, in addition, because Ngozi Plantation is a fire ecosystem, the fire actually um, stunts some of the growth of these oak trees. So frequently in this sort of ecosystem, they'll only grow to be about 50 to 60 feet tall and not too much larger. Let's go check out some other oaks. The next oak tree that we're going to be talking about is the turkey oak. Um, the turkey oak has much more um, oak-like leaves. They've got those large lobes and they come to a very um, fine tip at the end. Another way that you can tell if it's a turkey oak is they've got a very interesting uh, leaf alignment. As you can see, the leaves actually hang downwards. And that's because these turkey oaks li um, live really, really well in sandy environments. And if they were lying just about flat, then the reflection of the sunlight coming back up from the sand would actually burn the leaves. So the turkey oak has a really interesting adaptation to living in these environments. The turkey oak also provides something very, very important to a lot of the animals that live around here, and that is that it's a source of food. I know um, a lot of people think chipmunks, squirrels, uh, when we talk about acorns, but there are a number of different species that also rely on acorns for nutrients as well. Um, namely, the one that our plantation is named after, the black bear, uh, as well as deer. Um, they're really important for herbivores because they're a nut, which means they are a very important source of protein for a lot of these animals that can't receive them in other ways in the environment, um, particularly herbivorous ones. Um, and the reason that it is called the turkey oak, I've got a turkey foot right here, and it has to do with the alignment of those three lobes right at the top. If you check it out, it looks very similar to a turkey foot. And the third oak tree that we are going to be talking about today is the live oak. As you can see, these live oaks around here are gigantic. Now, the main driver of competition in a full forest is going to be for sunlight, which causes trees to go grow straight up towards the sky. However, this tree seems to have branched out in every direction possible. The reason that this is the case is because it wasn't experiencing competition when it was growing. Um, little keys in the forest can sort of tell you about the history of what has gone on. Um, and these trees uh, tell us that this area was once cleared and most likely once had people on it. Um, but we're going to get into that a little bit later down the road. Um, oak trees, uh, or live oaks, have very interesting leaves. They're, they're ovular, they're ovals, um, and they're very, very waxy. Uh, and on top of that, they're very hard and sort of difficult um, to shape. And in addition to that, live oak, the leaves actually have an acidic compound in them. So when they drop their leaves, the live oak is basically preserving areas for its own babies to grow in the same region around. So here at the Biophilia Center, we love our trees. We love to walk around and challenge ourselves and try and figure out exactly which species we're surrounded by. We think that it helps give us a greater appreciation for what's around us. So hopefully with a little more knowledge and hopefully a little bit more love of the trees around you, um, during these times where you're just cooped up at home, you can find some way to get out in nature and appreciate some of the cool native species that we have here in Florida. Happy Arbor Day. Happy Arbor Day.